Happy New Year, everybody, and welcome to episode three of The Scratch. I'm your host, Alan, and I'm here to guide you through all the latest sports stacking news. So, first of all, something super exciting. Our very own Laura Beacon visited Rome in Italy to take part in their Guinness World Records 2018 show, where she was aiming to complete 30 stacks of 363 as quickly as she possibly could. The current world record for completing this challenge was 1 minute and 38 seconds, and I am massively proud to announce that Laura completed it in 1 minute 36 seconds. Great job, Laura. Last month, we started the competition to win these amazing Pro Series 2 Choi Cups. All you had to do was leave a comment on that video, and I am happy to announce that the winner of these amazing cups is Gianni Belletta. Congratulations, Gianni. These cups are gonna be on their way to you very, very shortly. But if you are interested in winning yourselves a prize, trust me, we have got something amazing coming up later this episode, so make sure you don't stop watching. So let's go over now and have a little bit of a look at our tournament roundup. The beginning of December saw the Asian Open take place in Kuala Lumpur with hundreds of stackers in attendance. It was an amazing tournament and we were lucky enough to actually talk to somebody who was there. That's gonna be coming up later this episode. Congratulations to all of that tournament's winners. December also saw the final UK regional tournament taking place in Birmingham. It was an amazing tournament and we'll be getting everyone ready for the UK nationals taking place in February. Congratulations to all of our winners and I look forward to seeing you at the national championship. Now don't forget, if you're interested in checking out any of our tournaments, we stream all of them to this channel, so head over and check them out. So if looking at those tournaments has got you excited to take part in one yourself, let's take a look at a few that are coming up over the next couple of months. March 2nd and 3rd sees the Copenhagen Open taking place in Denmark. Soon after that, we have Cup Mania on the 6th of April taking place in Switzerland. And at the very end of April, on the 27th and 28th, we have the World Championship taking place in Spain. Remember, these are just a few of the tournaments that are coming up over the next few months. So, if you want to know about any that are closer to you, head over to the WSSA.com and see what you can attend. And of course, we couldn't stop talking about tournaments without looking at the UK National Championship, coming up on the 23rd of February at Neil Wade Academy in Cambridgeshire. Registrations are open for this tournament right now, so if you want to attend, get online and register. I'll be in attendance and I'm so excited to find out who's going to be named the UK National Champions as well as who has made the lineup for Team UK before heading over for the World Championship in Spain. Whenever I get a chance to at tournaments, I always love to try and learn a bit more about our stackers. And at the Birmingham Regionals, I was lucky enough to grab a few minutes with Yannick, one of our experienced stackers from Zurich in Switzerland, and learn a bit more about him. He loves traveling all over the world to take part in tournaments and is a regular attendee here in the UK. He's just come back from the Asian Open, so let's head over and learn a little bit more about Yannick and that event. So obviously you you tend to come from a little a little further away than a lot of our com competitors, right? So yeah. how did you first get into coming along to these UK tournaments? Uh, first of all, I was looking for some new tournaments or for, so, for some different tournaments than Germany and Switzerland. Right, and okay. the UK is affordable. Yeah. Uh, I really love this country, so. And you're over here, you come to a lot of the tournaments, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I love. I yeah. try to come to every tournament I can. And you were telling me earlier on how many how many flights do you how many flights have you taken in the last year? Um, this year I had uh, about 30 flights for tournaments and some holidays, but mostly tournaments wow. all that's around the world. So yeah, that's impressive. Yeah. And how long have you how long have you been getting involved for now? How long have you been stacking? Uh, I started in December 2009. So wow, it's okay. Now for you. Wow, yeah, nice. I'm feeling old. <laughs> <laughs> and how do you um, what do you enjoy most about the uh, what do you enjoy most about the sport? Uh, and most about the sport is the community. Yeah. Uh, I have friends all around the world from uh, the US to Malaysia to uh, Switzerland, of course. Yeah. And I met so many fascinating and interesting people. And uh, it doesn't matter where you are, yeah. you have everywhere friends nice. you can meet up. And actually, talking about, you said about friends all over the place. Yeah. Where, else have you, where else have you been to? As you say, you spend uh, a lot of time, you come over here a lot. Where else yeah. have you been? Uh, of course, I've been to Switzerland and Germany yeah. for some tournaments. Then also the world, then uh, a lot of UK tournaments, uh, Taiwan, yeah. uh, Malaysia recently. Yeah, I was going to say, and you, yeah, yeah. You, just, you just recently got back from the Asian yeah, Open, just yeah? Yeah, got back uh, four days ago. So. <laughs> wow, are you still jet lagged? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, was, what was the Asian Open like? Was there a lot of people there? Uh, yeah, it was really an amazing tournament. It was uh, really huge. We had uh, over 400 people there, wow. 404 stackers. 
So it was like words and it's the same setting up. Yeah, nice. And how did you get on over there? Um, not bad. In doubles we got second. So nice. yeah, wow. this was really cool. And in uh, individual I got three times fourth. That's okay. That's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's no, wow. okay, but for the, but for the high the temperature result, and everything, it's, it's okay because yeah, it was really course. a change for me. And for them it was really normal with all the food and all the things there. Yeah, of course. So, yeah. Well, I hope we're going to keep seeing you at a lot more of these tournaments. Yeah, I'm sure be. we will. I'm yeah, sure yeah. we will. And something else that's quite of interest, you brought us back something, uh, you brought something special yeah. back, right? Yeah, I uh, brought back some brand new uh, Asian Open 2018 cups. Wow. Uh, I think these are the, it's, after my set, it's the second set in Europe. So nice. And you, and you brought this back to use as a giveaway, right? Uh, I brought this back, yeah, for you or for your There friends. we go. So there we go. Yeah. So one of you guys watching at home later in this episode, we are going to be giving that set away. Thank you so much, Yannick. No problem. Massive treat if you bring this back. And we're also going to get you back on to take part in a little game later on as well. So yeah. look forward to seeing you there. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you. We didn't just grab Yannick for an interview, although at the time he was not aware of this. We also wanted him to try out our newest game, the Blindfolded 363. So, three attempts to complete a 363 as quickly as you can. So let's go back over to Yannick and see how he got on. Ready, set, go. Oh. Yeah, there you go, that's one down. Ready, set, go. Oh, there we go. That was good. Ready, set, go. Oh, there we go. Congratulations, Yannick, for being the first competitor on our blindfolded 363. You did amazingly well. I'm not going to lie, I wanted to see you knock the cups everywhere at least once, but those three runs were really good. For any eagle-eyed viewers, I'm sure you already know what this episode's prize is going to be. That's right, it's these awesome Pro Series 2 Asian Open Cups. These aren't available on the UK store, so this is going to be your chance to take a set home. Thank you, Yannick, for donating these amazing cups. If you want to win them, all you've got to do, it's simple. Subscribe to our channel, leave a comment below, and next month, one lucky winner will take these cups home. Good luck, everybody that's taking part. So that's it for another episode of The Scratch. I hope you've enjoyed it. Remember to hit that subscribe button, follow us on social over on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and Discord. All the links are down below, and I will see you next time.